so now let us look into filtering um, filtering can be done at horizontal level or vertical level vertical level we uh, we filter out the columns horizontal level we filter out the rows and if you have to filter uh, vertically we typically use uh, map which we have seen earlier okay by using map we can actually choose whatever columns we want and that that is about filtering vertically uh, for example last time when we actually try to extract a date from this um, we only chose to pick this one and then format it and we filtered out the other columns okay at times without doing any transformations on uh, columns we want to data only from subset of columns and uh, we can just use uh, uh, map for that we just have to apply the logic uh, to identify the columns and extract um, those columns data only from the input rdd as output now when it comes to vertical filtering so there is the api called filter itself and that filter if you look at the documentation it returns a new data set formed by selecting those elements of the source on which func returns true so even filter uh, fi sorry filter takes a, a function as argument and that function should have logic uh, based upon certain condition it should return true or false and those records based on certain condition returns true um, actually considered in the new data set otherwise it will be ignored okay so all you need to pass uh, to filter is a function which returns true or false based on certain condition and uh, all those records which are uh, uh, which goes through that logic and returns true will be considered others will be discarded okay so now let us uh, have a look um, at it hands on so the session is launched and uh, let me read the data from orders and if you look at orders uh, data set by running take for each print element, you see the data like this um, and um, as you guys are aware this is order ready this is uh, order date this is order customer id and this is order status so let us uh, let us say that we want all completed orders okay and uh, for that you, you can write filter and when you say orders dot filter and hit tap twice you will see the syntax of the api um, filter also takes function as argument and that function have one argument uh, of type t in this case t will be string because uh, our rdd contains uh, all strings string elements in it and uh, what it returns is uh, uh, all those uh, records which returns true um after returning a boolean value uh, if the boolean value is true uh, then those will be returned into this rdd so the function takes one argument which is of type uh, element type in rdd itself and it returns boolean which means it should the function should return true or false so whatever argument we pass to this filter function uh, should uh, accept um uh, the string type and return a boolean type okay and here let's say for each order which is of type uh, this if it is complete we want to extract let us assume only i want to get completed orders so what i can do is i can say order dot split comma 
the fourth field is the order status hence i'm subscripting with three and then equal to complete okay and then hit enter now you see it has created a new rdd and if you want to preview the data you can just say take of 10 for each print element you can see that we only get completed orders you can also validate by saying orders dot count it has 68883 records and now completed orders are only twenty two thousand eight ninety nine records this is how you can filter the data okay now let us assume that instead of just getting uh, completed orders i want to get both complete and closed orders for that we should be aware of boolean operators of underlying programming language uh, so the way you actually um, uh, uh, use boolean operators uh, in uh, scala uh, uh, can be used now as part of this filter and we can actually uh, return either complete or closed orders so for that let me first say val s equal to orders dot first okay now i want to see whether it is either closed or completed orders so how can i do that i can say uh, yes dot okay it got disconnected i relaunched the session now s contains this i want to see if it contains closed or completed so there are multiple ways to do that you don't need to do the split but split is uh, the ideal way of doing it because we are extracting the fields and we are comparing the fields you can also use contains f dot contains complete or f dot contains closed you can see because the it is closed it returns true okay uh, and also using split you can say as f dot split comma of three equal to complete of f dot split equal to closed okay now you can see it returns true now if you look at us let us say whether the date is um, 2013 uh, september 25th or not or july 25th or not okay so the way we have to do it is let me copy this i'm sorry it got disconnected again let me start so i'm back now so let me paste the string okay this covers the um, whether the status is complete or closed now i want to check whether the date is 2013 july 25th or not so end operator is like this okay so i can say end and then i can say s dot split comma of one dot contains i just want to compare with uh, date ignoring the timestamp 25th okay and hit enter now you can see it is true if i change the date it will return false because uh, both conditions uh, uh, have to be true 
if you use boolean um, and um, in this case this returns false even though the order is in closed state even though this returns true as uh, this returns false and as you guys are aware uh, boolean true and boolean false will be false okay so this is how you can actually um, apply the logic to get the data you want now let us say i just want to get all those records which are either in complete or closed state for the month of 2013 september so the way we can write the logic is like this so get all complete get all the orders from 2013 september which are in closed or complete status okay so typically you should not just preview few records and uh, based on that you should not get the uh, or you should not write the logic complete might be represented as complete in some records it can be represented as completed or some other um, similar word so first we need to understand what all different status that are there in the data and based on that you should uh, uh, identify what all values should be passed if you have to get the classification from the business you should get the classification from the business and then you have to use all the states which means complete and closed okay so first let us write the logic to get all the different uh, orders all the, all the different statuses in the data set for that we have to extract the uh, status and uh, for each input record to extract the status i can use map function here order dot split comma of 3 which is order status it will return all the order statuses and i just need unique and if you go through the aps there is a api called distinct so distinct will actually return new data set that contains the distinct elements of the source data set in this case source data set is all the statuses of all the records and i just want distinct of them so i can use distinct here so let us copy this and paste it here okay there is a bug in the code a syntax bug it should be like this okay now it should work okay you just say collect for each intelan you can see these are the different order statuses from our data set we we have pending payment closed cancelled payment review pending on hold processing suspected fraud and complete and complete and closed all the ones which we are interested in and no other phrase means complete or closed so we will only filter for complete and closed orders as we have done earlier okay so here let me fix this code collect for it printl and now let us write the logic orders dot filter order in place let us write in multiple lines let us say val o equal to i am creating a new variable where i am splitting order and then um, o is nothing but array in this case and uh, now i am writing the logic which returns true or false um, it will be an expression which returns true or false so o of 3 equal to complete of o of 3 equal to closed and i am putting this logic in the bracket and then o of 1 dot contains 
2013 September. Okay, as the dates are uh, well formatted, uh, we are uh, safe to write like this. Otherwise, we have to extract uh, appropriate information and we have to compare properly. Okay. Uh, if you have a lot more complicated logic, you can write if else condition also. But when you go with if else condition, uh, you have to return true or false explicitly. In this case, as this returns true or false, you don't need to write if condition again. Okay. So you just copy this one and paste it here. Okay, again, there are some typos. Let me fix this. And also, there shouldn't be tab characters here. I'm using space. Okay. And also, there is a typo in the variable name. And now let me copy paste this one. Once that is done, we, we will just uh, preview the data by saying orders filtered dot take off 10 for each println and also orders filtered dot count. So it is better to use both uh, to understand how the data is represented um in the new data set and also to get the count that will confirm um, a few things uh, by acting as sanity checks uh, if there are any bugs within your code sometimes this in uh, these commands can help you identifying those things very early so after each and every step unless you are extremely sure better to preview the data by using uh, take and also the count here in this case you can see all the records are from 2013 september and uh, uh, total number of records are 2609 if you want you can also do collect because there are only 600 records uh, 2600 records in this just to confirm that we got data from all the dates in 2013 september so this is how you can use filter to apply vertical filtering, sorry, horizontal filtering on, on your data set. Horizontal filtering is nothing but filtering at the row level, and you can use all types of logic to filter the data.